Hi, it's Ted Patterson with another video in our video series titled Fast Break into Custom Visual Development. In this alternate lifestyle video, we're going to look at creating a custom visual using the D3.js library. In an earlier video, creating and testing your first custom visual, you got familiar with the PBI Viz utility. So we're going to create a new project called D3Joy. Now I'm going to move over to this project and open it up with Visual Studio Code. Now when I open this particular project, let's go and look at the Hello World code that they built in there for me. I'm not going to change anything inside here except I'll just go ahead and change the text that we're writing inside there. Just some little message so we can see it working before we add support for the D3 library. Now let's go ahead and start a debugging session. PBI Viz start. And remember that starts the Node.js debugging session for your custom visual. And then we're going to go to the Power BI service. I'm going to go into my personal workspace and I've already created a report that has the custom visual. So I can basically just bring that back up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop the debugging session. Now we have the project up and running. It's time to add support for the D3 library. So we're going to use the node package manager install command and install D3 at 3 the latest version for version 3 of the D3 library. Note that Power BI does not yet support version 4, so we're going to use the latest one of version 3, and note that if you look at package.json, you can see the developer dependency inside there. If I refresh, I can see that inside of the Node Modules folder, there's a D3 folder. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the PBI Viz JSON file, the external JS section, has something where you need to put a reference to any JavaScript library that you use. So we've updated that. Now we've added support for D3. And now on to D3 typed definitions. So once again, we're going to use Node Package Manager at types slash D3 at 3. Note that a lot of documentation from Microsoft will tell you to use typings, which is a different utility for installing the D3 library. Um, and what you'll see is that npm install is what people are going to be using going forward. And once you've added the type definition file, you need to then add that into the tsconfig.json file. And so now that you've got that, you're going to have IntelliSense and compile time type checking on your TypeScript code when you use the D3 library. Okay, well now we can start writing some code. So let's go ahead and take the class that they gave us. And so what I'm going to do is go to the top of the class. Let's add some private fields. And so we're going to add one for the SVG root, two more for an ellipse and a text element, which are going to go inside the SVG root. Now in the constructor, I'm going to go ahead and append the SVG to the element that's passed to me in the options parameter. Now I'll create an ellipse. Note that I call style to basically fill things about the ellipse and the text. And note that the constructor is your one-time operations to initialize an object. Now, every time something happens interesting, update is going to fire. So the first thing we're going to do in update is take the SVG root and readjust it to the height of the viewport inside there. If you don't, it will clip. I've created a little plot variable inside there. And I like creating that plot variable just because it makes it easier when I create other SVG elements like the ellipse text. I've added a little bit of code in here uh, for changing font size. Okay, now that we've got our basic code inside there with three D3 SVG, we'll go ahead and we'll start the debugger one more time. Let's go back into the browser, hoping for good things here. Now let me get back to a point where I can refresh. Oh, there's my new visual right here. Let's me resize. And what you can see is that now we have a D3 visual that resizes. Once again, this is Ted Patterson. I'd like to thank you for watching and leave you with a call to action. If you want to join a great, passionate group of smart people, come join us at pbiug.com, the Power BI user group. If you're looking for hands-on training, come visit us at criticalpathtraining.com, home of Power BI Bootcamp and Power BI Developer Bootcamp.